Good morning, encouragers. It's Joe. Monday. Mm -mm. You know how I feel about that. I love Monday. Okay. So I want to come on. I just really was thinking a lot about this this morning, and I had to come on and do this encouragement before it left my spirit. This morning I was exercising, per usual, and we were doing an, a few, there's always a few exercises where I have to really watch my back. I have scoliosis, and I also have some messed up vertebrae at the bottom of my spine. A few years ago, very intelligently, I ran a mud run, and I was really tired by the end of the run, and I went to go over this eight foot wall, and I fell like a rag doll, because I was tired, and I landed on the corner of a two by four. <laughs> Good morning. So I broke my tailbone, messed up bottom of my spine, and I've never been the same since. On top of that, I have scoliosis. So my back is just fun. So I go to the chiropractor, I do all the things, I stretch, whatever. But there's certain things I just can't help. It's a weak spot, okay? Remember that show, you all, the weakest link. The weakest link in my body is my spine, specifically my lower spine. So I am aware of my weakness. Unfortunately, <laughs> I wish I wasn't. And for years, I really didn't behave as if I had a weak spot. I ignored the fact that I had scoliosis. I tried to, you know, ignore it. And the factuals are that I have messed up lower back issues, okay? So I gotta just accept it, right? Be mature about it and act accordingly. Um, I didn't do that for a long time, but I've been better the last couple years and specifically this year, really feeling my age and really trying to do it. So what do I do in order to prevent further damage and or just pain associated with my weakness? Okay, here we're talking about a physical weakness, but I want you to hear the words I'm saying. You can have a weakness in your spirit. You can have a weakness in your mind. You can have a weakness habitually um, or physically. So what do I have to do to avoid the pain and further damage of my weakest link? And what I have to do is tighten my core. So when I'm doing an exercise, as using a metaphor here, when I'm doing an exercise in order to avoid pain, I'm gonna tighten my core while I go through that exercise so that I can protect it. So think about this in your life. Where do you have a weak spot? Where do you have a tendency? Where do you seem to get stuck or caught up? Is it in the opinion of others? Is it in fear of rejection? Is it in just fear in general? Anxiety, getting stuck just sort of in the feeling of angst. Um, do you have a tendency to become depressed easily? Um, do you isolate from people? I don't know what it looks like in your life. So only you can answer this, but what are your tendencies? We all have weak spots, right? We have strengths and we have weaknesses. That is just human and realizing it and acknowledging it and then living according to it with the awareness, which I wasn't doing for a long time, with the awareness of the weak spot and the acceptance of the weak spot, okay? We have to live that way. We have weakness, but then we can rely upon our core to help us get through it without damage, okay? So what do I do spiritually to do that? I get in the Bible every single day and I remind myself of the truth. So when I get out into the world, if I'm gonna walk into a situation, let's say socially, mentally, uh, maybe be around someone that I struggle to stay strong around, maybe get into an environment where I may struggle to make the right decisions, I don't know what it looks like, I'm just giving examples, but if you're gonna walk into something and your weakest spot is going to be vulnerable, then you tighten your core. So I remind myself in the morning of the truth, okay, that I am strong, that I can be patient, that I can be gentle, that I have a God who's gonna protect me, that I've got somebody on my side, that this life is temporary, that that person can't hurt me, that I can overcome. Whatever it is, whatever truth you need in that moment, You've tightened your core already in the morning to remind yourself about that truth. And then when you're walking into the moment, right beforehand, tighten your spiritual core. Remind yourself, I'm strong. No matter the outcome of this situation, I'm gonna be okay. I can get through this. I can be brave, I can be patient, whatever that looks like. Tighten your core, ladies, when you're exercising physically, of course, to avoid injury. And the same can be said for your life emotionally, spiritually, mentally. Tighten that core. Are you going to a job interview? Are you feeling fear, anxiety about not getting that job? 
Tighten it up, girls. You're going to be all right. You don't get that job. It's for a reason. God's got something better for you in the future, right? You are going on a date. Not sure how it's going to work out. Doesn't work out. That guy's not for you. Okay. I know it's easy. It sounds so easy to say, right? It's hard to live this way. Okay. You're going to be around someone who makes you feel insecure. Another woman who tries to tear you down. And maybe she's nasty or maybe she just unintentionally makes you feel less than. Tighten your core. Your worth, your value is greater than her opinion of you. Tighten your core and avoid further injury and damage to your spirit, your heart, and your mind today, ladies. Tighten your core. If you want to talk more about this, please message me. I'm here to encourage you. That's my job. I'm the encourage her, okay? Reach out to me. I'd love to talk to you about your weakest link, your weakest spots. We've all got them. Maybe I can relate to yours, okay? Um, get out there also and be an encourager. Monday, new week, new opportunity, new vision. Have eyes that see the need in women and say something. Reach out. You may never know the story behind that mask, but you can smile at hers and you can make her feel better today. All right, ladies, get out there. Join us. Be an encourager. Hope you have a fantastic Monday. Drink your water. Move your body. Get into the spirit and live strong. All right, ladies, love to y'all. See you again tomorrow, Tuesday. Hey guys, it's Joe from Encourage Her. Hope you found this message encouraging today. Hit subscribe and join us in becoming a woman who encourages.